This video is a detailed description of the theory and practice of drawing on an oscilloscope using my device called the unilateral phase detractor. I could have called it a differential girdle spring, but that just didn't seem to make any sense. The UPD runs on a Raspberry Pi 4, running the graphical programming language Pure Data, operated by a Korg Nano Control 2 mini controller and a keyboard. It's connected with two cables to a $20 oscilloscope I got off Craigslist and an inexpensive 7.1 audio interface from AliExpress. I can record the audio output direct to disk with some clever code I found by hitting the keyboard. It's a kind of playground for demonstrating the principles of oscilloscope drawing and making pretty shapes. Here are the XY scope pattern, the two waves feeding X and Y, that's what you're listening to, and the code that drives the module. Essentially a complex stereo oscillator divided into separate modules, it's based on the principle of quadrature and works like this. If you send a sine wave to the vertical input of an oscilloscope and send another separate sine wave at the same frequency but 90 degrees out of phase, a cosine wave, to the horizontal input, together they'll draw a circle. When they're forced to the same phase, they reinforce each other to graph a positive going line. 180 degrees out of phase, they completely cancel each other out and the graph goes the other way. Remember, phase controls shape in this world of sine wave drawing. Different ratios of the two frequencies make different curves. Here's a 2 to 1 ratio, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, and so on. These exact ratios are harmonics. You can tell which one we're looking at by counting the bumps, and you can see the shape change as I fiddle with their relative phase. Detuning just a little bit puts the curve in motion, with sine waves going in and out of phase. This is where it gets interesting. The shape won't change on its own when the two sine wave frequencies are both integers. These Lisa Zhu figures fascinated oscilloscope artists back in 1857 as they waited for cathode ray tubes to be invented. So if you add one of these quadrature circles to another one at a very slightly different frequency, they alternately reinforce and cancel each other out. Say, bump that second circle's frequency up an octave and you get shapes like this cycloid. That's the second harmonic. Here's three times, and so on. The higher the harmonic, the more petals on the flower. detuning makes the shape move. Harmonic ratios and phase cancellation are the basis of most of the unilateral phase detractor. The complex curve section has 13 of these harmonic wave quadrature oscillators tuned to ascending multiples that can be mixed and detuned in different ways. One oscillator is actually a triangle wave that can cross fade to a sine wave to make things more interesting. I gotta say, I love this triangle thing. I always come back to it, and I love to see it turn into other stuff. I love this kaleidoscope looking thing. And these different patterns are accessed from the keyboard, each one of which is a starting point for performance and experimentation by fiddling with the knobs and sliders on the Korg. I 
I love these tight little nodes that rotate around each other and hook into other curves and then pull apart. I put a little object on most of the controls so that when I change presets, it morphs from one shape to the next. And you know, I still wander into shapes I've never seen before. That triangle wave modulation business fascinates me. When it's mixed with the right quadrature circles, it's kind of magic. There's also a randomizer that sends values to the various oscillators so it can play by itself. And let's not forget the stop and reset buttons. Eventually I got tired of the circles and wrote a module called COGS that modulates the size of a circle with three pulse waves whose duty cycles I can mess with on the cord. And then I added a sequencer to bump the three pulse waves to make it move. And then the feature of melody, which accesses sliders on the chord. I stand on the shoulders of the great oscilloscope mavens of our time and love Derek Holzer's Vector Master Patch that displays rotating shapes derived from 3D models. But I got tired of patching the various modules into the output, and that gave birth to the Chooser module, which switches between my pieces parts with the keyboard and triggers various parameter presets in the phase detractor with pure data message boxes that send values to the oscillators and lets me bounce around the various modules. I learned early on to make liberal use of pure data tab write arrays and number boxes so I could see what values were being sent where. One of my favorite parts is the waveform player. A single cycle of a pre-made drawing waveform is loaded into these arrays, and then an object called a phaser, really a sawtooth wave, sweeps through the left and right audio channels to display the image. And by varying its amplitude, I can reveal portions of the wavetables. Eventually, I added a couple of timed line objects to automate the process. I finally figured out how to turn a drawing made in Inkscape into a waveform that I can draw. All right, just hang on just one second. Here we go. Before I wrap this up, let me show you Syntheshape, one of Derek's patches based on a 45-year-old concept that he talks about in his book on vector synthesis.
This is a prime example of phase control's shape. I added knob control and presets, and it's a sine wave playground on its own. Changing phase on the oscillators is like turning the shape to see it from different sides. And you can see and hear the shape change when you approach harmonic ratios. I think this is gorgeous. So, do you want your own unilateral phase detractor? I know you do. I think the best way to share it is if I make an image of the operating system SD card and let you replicate your own operating system and plug it into your Pi. So, here are the parts. The usual keyboard monitor and mouse, a Korg Nano Control 2, about 70 bucks, a class compliant 7.1 USB audio interface that you may have to buy from China, and, oh yeah, a sort of decent CRT oscilloscope. If you don't have one, keep your eyes open. People are tossing them every day. Where to go from here? The next logical step in oscilloscope art for me is this, the Neon Captain Radiator. But that's a video for a different time. Someday, I might make a tutorial on how to turn a logo into a waveform. So, here we are at the end. The UPD is a playground for art, electronic music, physics, and just learning new stuff in general. Most importantly, I hope it inspires you to explore not just the shapes, but how they were made. And maybe you'll come up with something that no one has ever seen or heard before. Like I said, I'm happy to share. Now, go oscillate something.